So the first type of video that I want us to think about is, is to do with the psychology of somebody when they are purchasing. Okay, So we're thinking about our customer, our potential customer, bearing in mind that they're possibly just scrolling through social media, they don't need your product yet, or maybe they don't know that they need it they may not know that you're the solution to their problem just yet. So we have to take ourselves right back to the beginning of when we have an issue, okay? So for example, um, a while ago I was about to decorate and I didn't know what I wanted to do, I just knew that I needed to learn how to wallpaper because I'd never wallpapered before. So I put into the internet how to wallpaper. Okay, so here's a, an example of what came up when I put into Google how to wallpaper. As you can see, it's B&Q's video. So what they've done is, I'm not to the point yet where I'm ready to buy stuff from B&Q, but having put in how to wallpaper, B&Q have got lots of branded videos teaching me how to wallpaper. And as we get to the end of the video, there's then a materials list, there's a tools list, there's a health and safety list. And all those tools and everything are from B&Q. So I'm not now going to go to Wix, okay? Think about what can your company provide to somebody where they're still in the mentality where they think they can do it themselves. I spend a lot of time teaching people how to make videos. And people will often say, why are you teaching people to make videos when you make videos? Because you're kind of doing yourself out of work. But realistically, if somebody's trying to make their own videos, then they aren't a customer for my production company anyway. They're not yet at that stage. So it's really important that you think about people's psychology. And what people generally start off with when they need something is that they can do it themselves. So get to know them, start to build that relationship up by giving them tips, teaching them how to do things. So start out by making a list of what can you teach people to do that are the very basic so that they can start to fall in love with your product so that they can get to a point where they feel like you've given them something. And if you're giving them enough stuff for free, they're going to think at some point, well, if this is what they give for free, the stuff that you pay for must be really good. Okay, so the psychology of buying is never to just sell, 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 particularly like on social media, because you're asking for a commitment very, very early on in the relationship. And the nice thing with video is if you put the right types of video in the right place, you build a relationship with somebody. And then when they do need your product, they feel that they've already created that relationship with you. It's very similar to asking somebody to marry you. You don't ask somebody to marry you on the first date because it's slightly odd and people have not got to a point where they have built trust, where they have got used to somebody, where they know the bad points, the good points and they can weigh it up and work out whether that's a commitment that they want to make and that's exactly the same with buying. So give people stuff, teach them how to do things, get them to fall in love with said video production, get them to start making their own videos and then later down the line when they are wanting the animation or they're wanting a bigger promotional video then they're probably going to turn up and be your client anyway. Mm -hmm.